Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Oh, Holly Wolf here and you're watching Wolf of the Wild. It's very bright. Hello, son. Sir, calm down. <laughs> it's very bright. We are outside of my fence today and I'm going to be planting some echinacea. Woo! So I have some beautiful echinacea that I want to get in the ground. I've been debating on where to put them. And I've actually been slowly working on this area of my garden bed for quite some time. I've, you know, gone in and out of what I want to do. And I kind of want this area to be just this very full looking gorgeous moment. And I have a really pretty Japanese maple here. I'm hoping the pine gives it a little bit of shade. It doesn't get too much. There's also a bird in this tree. This, this, this beautiful pine has birds in it, but yeah. So we're going to try to plant some echinacea today. And uh, I think there's one dead plant in here, which I'm gonna switch out for one. And we're also gonna put the other two in. And hopefully by next year, this is going to fill out and be absolutely gorgeous. Um, most of these are new this year. So uh, they're kind of, you know, sparse looking, but hopefully next year when I update you on this space, it's gonna look gorgeous. So first I'm gonna go through some of the plants that are here and then we're just gonna put that echinacea in. Yeah. Okay, so first, literally between my feet and I'll just kind of go like this. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> so this area is what I'm trying to develop. It's really cute. Um, we have some sedums in the front. There's a few more sedums over there. So those are some beautiful patches. We have a spiria right here. I believe this is a little red spiria. Spiria, spiria, yeah. So he should kind of boop, be like this, fill this area. We have two beautiful echinacea here. This Oh God, I forget what it's called. It's so gorgeous though. It's like the green and purple echinacea. So we have those two here, as well as a beautiful um, little Henry Sweet Spire right behind me, which is this guy. And again, he should kind of fill out this area Whee! like that, which will be really, really gorgeous. And then we have, whoa, dang. Dang it, I'm so bad. I'm gonna find the name of these plants. I forget what this is, but he has beautiful, tall, yellow spikes here um, earlier on in the season, which is gorgeous. Right beside it, we have a beautiful little Japanese maple who's struggling a little bit. Um, he's getting a little bit of sun damage this year, but he's brand new. And he's also putting out new growth, this beautiful dark colorage here. So I know that he's doing okay. Like he's not suffering too heavily, but he is right below the pine here. So because of that, I just have to really make sure, especially all these things actually, make sure that they're more watered, especially the first year, because this guy probably takes a lot of the water. And then we have two of these guys, which are also kind of suffering. Um, never planted these before. These are the Mango Tango Potanilla. This guy is dead on this side, so I'm gonna be cutting him out. And the one back there, I'm gonna be replacing with an Echinacea because he died, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it's a little full side, but I don't, I don't know what happened to him. But yeah, so this is, it happens sometimes. This is this area, especially the guy back there. I don't think I watered him enough. And like I said, he's super close to the pine tree. One, he doesn't get rainfall. And secondly, this guy's probably soaking up all the water. So, so I'm so sorry. I have to keep very close attention to all these plants this year. But yeah, we're gonna plant some echinacea in here and hopefully by next year, like I said, this area is going to look fabulous. So let's, uh, let's get to this. I also thought about mo moving him, but the people at the garden center said he should be fine in a more full sunny spot. Just make sure he gets lots of water. So yeah, I really want some more Japanese maples. So I might put them in some shady spots in my garden soon. All right, let's get to planting these echinacea. I'll show you them first too. Just do this real quick. All right. Yeah. All right, so we have three echinacea here. Uh, this guy, I am so sorry. We're gonna cut all these dead guys off so he hopefully grows a few new stems this fall. Um, he, 
I think I just didn't water him for a few days. He's like in a weird corner. He got hit really, really hard. So these are just beautiful. This is um, Cheyenne Spirit Echinacea. And I think these guys are kind of the same variety. Nope, Pow Wow. This is called Pow Wow Wild Berry. Love that. And I believe this is also this, oh no, this is Artisan Soft Orange. Three different kinds. Okay, well, we're gonna get these in the ground. Let's go.
Okay, so we're all done planting our echinacea. I got all three in the ground. It was relatively easy and um, the soil underneath here is looking a lot better because I've mulched this whole area and I've been adding to it here and there, some like nice compost and everything. So it's very easy and awesome. But yeah, I'm excited for this area to grow in next year. Like I said, I'll definitely do like an update video probably this time next year exactly because this is when echinacea especially will be looking its sexiest you know what i mean but yeah anyways there's a car driving by oh no we're good we're close to the road i'm always like oh my god there's a car um but thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys next time bye don't forget, I have a free OnlyFans, OnlyPlants, which is OnlyFans.com slash Wolf of the Wild. And also, you can become a member. You can subscribe. My link tree will be down below. Everything as well. But yeah, if you don't follow my other socials, I have TikTok. I have Instagram. I have Twitter for my Wolf of the Wild gardening content. I post a lot of awesome photos and video content over there too. So yeah, anyways, bye.